What's up guys, welcome to another Slay the Spire video, and in this video guys, we once again explore Sneko White on the defect. We got things like Equiform and Hyper Beam, it was a crazy little deck. Now, we did have a little bit of an issue with the transients, and I apologize, it was fairly new to me, and I was trying to learn the encounters, so uh, he was kind of rough, I'll just put it that way, but... We got a really cool combo with Prayer Wheel and Question Card. So this is probably the thickest deck I've built in a long time. If not the thickest deck I've ever built in Ascension 15. I hope you guys enjoy it. Drop a like if you guys did. And down below you'll see a link to my stream in the description box. Drop a follow there as well if you want to catch me stream. I stream pretty much daily or five days a week. Without further ado guys, I hope you guys enjoy the video. Take care. Upgrade a card. I think we have 1 HP or Pino Random Rare. Okay, I think I might do it Elite Snipe. How you doing, Narnia? Glorgify, how you doing? Breko. There's some bad hands, I know. It was a good run, yeah, it was. What's a random mean code? It's all good, guys. The attempt was there. This is what starts the day and the streak. I believe we were on a streak. No, we weren't. We weren't on a streak. Brand new day. Let's go for, two, you know what, I'm gonna go really risky. Uh, it's not risky, we're gonna go for two shops, two elites, four rests. Let's see if there's anything better. Hmm, okay, let's go for it. Wait, can we, can we slap an elite? I suppose I could try to snipe the elite, but I don't really like... Okay, there, you know, there's a potential to snipe two elites, so just because there's two potential, potential to do that, I'll, I'll go for it. Highly unlikely. I don't like this option because... In order to do that, you're not getting as much cards, but we'll do it. There's potential. I kind of want to do the the regret just because there's a chance I get a removal event. So far, so good. So far, so good. So far, so good. I think we got two elite snipes just now. That's insane. A lot of curses, though. No cards, but we got two elite snipes. That's something. That's a card. Uh, these are not the greatest cards. I think we'll do machine learning. Okay, okay, okay. We have a lot of curses. Got a lot of gold, though. Interesting start. Bottle lightning. Okay, lightning in a bottle, for sure. Mm-hmm. That's a regret. Oh, shit. That's a lot of curses. Pray a wheel. We can get a lot of cards. Go for the Ice Equilibrium Show. Okay, we get the Equilibrium. We don't really have a lot of uh, offense in this deck. This is not really helping my offense. <laughs> this is really not helping my offense. It's another shop, though, right? So here's what we're going to do. We're going to remove, I believe, the Regret, right? So far, that wasn't worth I'm gonna go for the next shop. Well, maybe I get something decent. That doesn't really help my offense, but I, okay, so what helps my offense is Pennib a little bit. I can play around Pennib. I suppose we could do some strength pots. We'll do strength pots and Pennib. We have, we have Prayer Wheel. So Prayer Wheel is going to give us two cards next fight, so I can potentially get some offense there. I think Pendib is going to help our offense. I think, I think Stack's okay for defense. I think with Equilibrium as well. I kind of want to remove the Doubt, so I don't have the Weaken, because I have a lot of Curses. So basically, I'm spending 175 gold to remove two Curses. And now the next thing I want to remove is going to be 125. It's ah, not the best. Would I play Dark Souls Remastered? I'm currently playing. Would love to watch you. I, I might play that for sure, man. I like, I like Dark Souls a lot. And I think if you guys enjoy Dark Souls, those, those kind of games, we, we can have fun with that. Wait, question cards with Prairie Wheel is insane, isn't it? That means I can get four card choices twice, eight cards per fight? That might be interesting. Let's go for it. Now, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do it. I'm going to remove the doubt. Now, I know that seems crazy. We're going to shoot beam for the AoE, right? Now... I'm hoping the question card plus the prayer wheel is going to give me enough card options to find what I need. If not, Pendant's going to save me, I suppose. That might have been really stupid. We'll see. G 
Give me eight card choices. Let me see what we got. Barrage is not bad for offense. We have the beams already. We're not we're not doing too much orbs. I mean, maybe ball lightning is probably better. We need defense too, right? Stack, cold snap. I guess so. Stack is not bad for defense. I think we'll be okay on offense with Pennib and and the vulnerable. We should be fine. Is stack better than steam barrier? I think we should have some zero cost cards like steam barrier. Cold snap. Mm. Do stack. I'm gonna upgrade this just because I want to make sure I have okay offense. This is not. I'm gonna do string cloud as well. So we do have six cards a turn because of machine learning, so we can take like some cheaper cards. I should have beam myself first. I just missed, made up, nah, made a mistake. Big mistake. That's actually fine. If I did, I did beam myself first, he would have been split. I actually don't, I'm actually happy. I made a mistake, but it actually worked out in my favor. Now we can take the hit because we have stacks. So we can do defend, defend, stack. But he's gonna get split anyways. So since he's gonna get split anyways, let's go for it. Not a bad split. Ah. Eh. This guy splits at what? 17? So I think we should... This is, this is the play. Right here. 16. Oh my god. My, I'm just not on it. I'm not on the ball right now. Shipping beam would be fantastic. Sweeping beam. I'm gonna take the risk. There's a big chance this guy gets hit. There's a big chance that guy gets hit. I should have got rid of the slime. Okay, we're fine. Easy. Easy fight. You know, the fact that we're going to this next act with prayer or question card, I feel like we're gonna craft not only the thickest deck. But, okay, we get Echo Form. Wow, wow, wee, wow. Final card count, guys, this is probably going to be the biggest, thickest deck I've ever had. Get your predictions now, guys. How big is this deck going to be? Now, I'm not going to try I'm not gonna try to read all the predictions, because I don't want you guys to, like, think that I'm, you know, changing it. I'm just going to play. Make a prediction how, I think the, how, think you, the, how big you think the deck's going to be. I think Echo Form is the play, for sure. Sneko Eye, okay, so let's say, you know what? Sneko Eye, let's go. Let's go. Echo Form, Sneko Eye, seven cards a turn, plus machine learning, eight cards a turn. Let's get a ex fat, expensive deck. We're getting eight card options every fight. So we're going for monster fights. We're going to have a thick deck, but we're going to get through that thick deck really quickly with Sneko Eye. This is going to be the run. This is going to be the run, right here. The Sneko Eye run. Boom. Hey, boom. 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 The no, 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 we're not, RNG's not gonna mess us up, trust me. Because we got, we got stacked to hold on to. I forgot that I had Echo Form, gotta remember that. Where's being the bone when you need it? Shooting beam twice, no problem. Let's do Equilibrium, hold on to that. Easy peasy. You know, since we have Echo Form, we can get things like self repair. Glacier is really good with Echo Form. Chaos is interesting. Because Chaos can give us Plasma. I think Barrage works well. Of, 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 oh, we got Echo Form again. I'm happy. Why aren't I losing cards? What do you mean? Oh, equ Equilibrium is a card that holds on to your thing. Oh, this sucks. This sucks. We need healing of some sort. Hyper Beam and Echo... F okay. I skip here. Pretty sure I skip here. Yes. 
I don't. It doesn't feel good to skip, but I'm gonna skip. Do we, we have a late shop, right? Oh, let's go for the relic. Hey, nice. Easy. If I can't win off that, then I don't know what I'm doing. Now that sucks because I have glacier, but I mean it's still fine. Like. We're taking some damage. Taking some damage. I need rebounds. I need holograms. I mean, this is pretty... Okay, this is free, right? We have... Stack is amazing. I think we have lethal, actually. No, we don't. Oh, we do. Dual casts. Stack, leap, ouch, oh my, the damage, Pendum's insane, please hit the guy in the front, alright, this is gonna suck, I have a feeling this is gonna suck because, uh, this could be bad. I want to nurse the Dark Lord, but I also just don't want to get my ass kicked here. We got Echo Form, so... Okay, I just need Hyper Beam. Hyper Beam is lethal. Easy. We're gonna have to rest again. Defrag, ah, uh, Defrag's super good, but it, it doesn't work well with the Hyper Beam, right? And I think stacks are gonna be nice just because... We're gonna make a really thick deck. Just, just question card. We're gonna have a thick deck, so stack is obviously really good. I think defrag though. It's really nice, but it doesn't work that well with the hyper beam, unfortunately. Who's the boss, by the way? Hmm. Two stacks. Fission gives me orb slots, which is not that great with hyper beam, right? I think tempest makes sense, but I think we do leap again. I'm gonna rest. Add a card. Okay, they want this to be the thickest deck ever. So, Bar I mean, I think Hologram's the best, because Hologram can bring back things that are going to be perhaps free or, or not free, whatever. Rebound works pretty well with Hyper Beam. I think Force Field works pretty well, because it's going to be cheaper, but I think Hologram is probably the best bet. Rebound does work well with Hyper Beam and stuff like that. I think I'm going to go Hologram. I like Darkness. I'm just going, you know, I'm not, I'm not probably thinking this through. Who cares? Got the boot. That's all that matters. Got the boot. I'm gonna rest again. We're going for an elite here. Uh, no, there's a bot. I, I don't have to find the bot. It's called Wiz Dude. I can actually, I can look it up for you guys. Wiz Dude. I think it probably the same creator who created Spire Input probably created Wiz Dude. Hyper Beam. Hol Wait, I forgot Beam Cell. Hologram. Hyper Beam. If I did Beam Cell first, this would have been beautiful. That's what we're trying to do with our life, right? We're trying to do Hyper Beam shenanigans. It makes it hard against the Collector. To consistently defend, but what we do have going for us is the fact that we have stacks, right? And we have echo form to extract value out of things like leap and stacks with the, the, the smooth stone. So there's a chance that we're fine. Echo form is probably going to carry us. I think I do more leaps. So rebound is great, right? Yeah. Uh, Compile target gives more card draw, which is good with Sneko Eye. The card draw is nice, but we have machine learning. Let's go rebounds. Alright, let's see what happens here. Okay, let's see what happens here. Echo form for free. Yes.
Yes, yes, yes. Free echo form. I can do hologram twice and that can bring me back s the free stack, right? And bring me back shooting beam, I suppose. I can't afford it. What the hell? What are you doing? Oh, there you are. You cheeky bastard. Yes. And we got pendant waiting. Okay, I think we're doing great stuff. If we get hyper beam right now, we're doing some stuff. That's 50. Right? 50 plus uh, 75 damage. Now, ideally, like dual cast first is doing 36, right? Wow, we have, we have lethal here, I believe. Easy. Happy flower for energy. That's great. We need the energy. I might do static discharge because there's a chance we're going to get attacked. But at the same time, we're going to have hyper beam getting ready to focus. So I think we do streamline just to get that going. But streamline's pretty bad with Sneko, I would say. The first couple times, streamline's not bad. But then, I'm going to rebound again. I only got one card option? Seek helps me do what? Look for echo form? That's amazing. Seek is fantastic. Meteor Strike, though. Oh, I'm so close to Meteor Strike. That would change everything. Cause I, then I can get the energy, and then I can focus solely on card draw. M meteor Strike would be fantastic. But since we can't afford Meteor Strike, we got to get the Seek. And we're going to buy a... Can't buy this. Never mind. Damn, that sucks. That sucks. How you doing, uh, JD? Welcome. Good morning. Good, good morning. Good day. How you doing, Lucy? Lovely Lou. You got the weekend free. Nice. The happy weekend. This is gonna be rebound, hyper beam, sweeping beam, hyper beam. Oh, if it was two. Uh, my bad. I messed that up. I think I just ruined lethal. I had guaranteed lethal next turn. I think I just ruined it. Nickel Rage is how I'm doing cheer. Uh, Pokey Blaze is not amused. More niggles. Hey, thanks for the 100 bits, man. Appreciate it. I ruined lethal, so now, now I'm getting punished. You're on the DM beam. Man, the DM beam is the worst experience, bro. Well, good thing you got out of the way. Where are all the expensive cards? Like, I'll do stack again, right? But where the hell is all the expensive cards? I'm so confused. Turbo could be interesting. Aggregate could be interesting as well, actually, because we're probably gonna have a fat deck. Hey, thanks for the 60 bits again, dude. Uh, we want to upgrade Seek, right, so we can pull out Echo Form and maybe something else? Or Hyper Beam is going to be a big source of damage. I think we're using Seek exclusively for Echo Form. Dexterity Plot, Strength Plot. We need Echo Form ASAP. Alright, let's hope for the best here, guys. There's the Echo Form. Let's do Aggregate. That's good energy. Hologram to get the Sweeping Beam. Stack. Pretty clutch. Okay. I think we're fine. Now that we get Echo Form, I think we're going to be fine. I think we're going to be just fine. Double Seek. Is that better than Double Glacier or Ball Lightning twice? Uh, ball Lightning twice. It's not killing that dude. I suppose I could seek hyper beam. That, that might be enough, but then I won't have defense. It's all with the nickel rage. 
Let's do this. That wasn't the best. I mean, that was just a... That was just a bad... Snake White was all three costs. I guess I could have done double ball lightning, but I didn't want to take any damage. We could do double hyper beam, but the thing about double hyper beam is that, like... Double hyper beam kind of sucks, just because I'm not going to focus ever again. Double chaos at least... Okay, let's do this. Double chaos first. Maybe we can get, like, a plasma. There's the plasma. That's perfect. That's absolutely perfect. We're going to rebound... The hyper beam. Since we have plasma... If I can get a whole thing of plasma, that'd be fantastic. But then I don't care about negative focus. Give me plasma again. Although, I don't want to play it twice, because I don't want to get rid of the plasma I already have. So, let's do hyper beam twice. And then plasma. Hopefully. Ah, negative three dark orbs. That's fantastic. We are getting pendant stacked up. We have dark orbs that are doing the opposite of scaling up. We got stack twice, leap twice, hologram twice. We can do hologram for stack again with sweeping beam as well. I mean, it's a lot of the things we could do here. Our defense is just peachy. Peachy, peachy, peachy. Look at the defense. Let's get Seek out of the cycle, I would say. I should have done, re I should have done rebound on the stack, actually. That was my bad. I'll rebound the leap just in case. I should have done rebound on the stack, though. Oh, there's stack again. Double stack. That's fantastic. I know I should probably play it last, but at the same time, I don't want to, um... I want to get double on the stack. I think we're good on defense. Well, I don't want to get rid of the plasma. I suppose I could take the hit. Or I, I can do this. I should have done that since the beginning. I'll get rid of the plasma. Fuck it. Because we're going to kill this guy with the pen nib right now. If we can get it on the hyper beam. Uh, we didn't. I kind of want to get double vulnerable. Yeah! Are you, are you right now? Yes, 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 I am. I am. I feel bad wasting the, the pendant, but you know what? All right, have her being come through. Chaos, Green plasma. There's the plasma. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Got rid of the plasma. Never mind. Not nice. Dude, I need hyper beam. That's like my only way to win. Where is it? Oh, I guess we do have double equilibrium, double stack. I mean, we're good on defense, and hyper beam is guaranteed to come next turn. We also have Hologram twice to do things like... I mean, we're good on defense right now. 100%. In fact, I could keep... I could keep this stack for next turn. Because he's only doing 47, so we can keep the stack for next turn just like that. But I also want to draw enough cards, right? So I'm going to get rid of, like... The Strike. Double Hyper Beam is going to be clutch with the stack. Never mind. I just forgot that I'm going to reshuffle on my deck. And I didn't even get a Hyper Beam. you got to be shitting me. Wow. That's annoying. Hyperbeam, please. Please, Hyperbeam, please. If I had the healing? <laughs> What's the talking about? How you doing? I should have, man. I should have uh, made sure that Hyperbeam was coming through. That's my bad. But we're not dying, right? That's, that's what's important. 
So we're not dead. 22 plus 8, 30. No, 22 plus 9, 31. Taking 6. Taking 20 damage. We're not dead. Hyper Beam is still lethal. I just, need to, I just need to draw into it. Oh, wait. We probably... I did the math wrong. Oh, we're not dead. That's fine. We're not dead. Hyper Beam is still lethal. Where the fuck is Hyper Beam? Are you kidding me? Thank God for stacks. Stacks OP. There you are. You've been hiding, bro. Oh my God. Okay. Not a problem. Easy as hell. Let's go. Vice Cognition all for one is actually insane. Hey, what's up, Swartz? How you doing, man? Getting ready for the finals? Well, good luck, man. All for one could be insane with Sneko Eye. We're going to go for it. It could be absolutely nutty. We don't get an energy relic, which would be really nice to balance out the Sneko Eye, but you know what? No worries. We might do the White Beast statue. Inserter is not really helping us that much. I mean, Inserter can open up Consume, and if we can get Consume, then we are just like... Doing crazy stuff, right? We're not only we're doing Hyper Beam, maybe we can even avoid that and go focus deck. So, when Surya can open up Consume, Runic Pyramid's pretty bad, I would say. The White Beast Statue, probably the best. I I'm gonna avoid the Consume shenanigans, although Consume's really good against Time Eater. Nickel Barrage. You man, thank you for that 150 bits. You've been giving me a lot of nickels, man. Thank you. I'm cleaning, cutting things. I, I do it for the drama, guys. I do it for the drama. It's all about the drama there. Let's go for a lot of rest. Let's get a lot of monsters so we can get a lot of card selections. We gotta get a fat deck for these stacks. I really wish. I really wish I got an energy relic, honestly. That would make my life so much easier. You know, calipers would be really good in this deck because I'm making a lot of excess block with stack. Calipers would be broken. Am I feeling lucky? Am I feeling lucky, guys? Should I just defend, or am I feeling lucky? I can go for the strike and try to kill that guy. If I'm feeling lucky, I can just... I can go for the strike and feel lucky, and maybe... The lightning hits him, right? There's... 23 chains twice. Or... I can just stack and try to mitigate some of the damage. We feeling lucky? All right, how lucky are we feeling? Lucky baby, we're lucky. All for one, guys. This is this is happening. This is why we take all for one. This is gonna be game breaking. You know what? I don't need the energy relic. I just forgot all for one. Snack away. This is this is gonna be insane. This is gonna be absolutely nuts. I just need calipers. If I can find calipers, my life is complete. I want to kill you. I want to kill you without using my. Ah, uh, whatever. Penup's gone. Stack again. Recycle can be interesting. To thin out the deck, but that makes my stacks worse, right? Scrape, on the other hand, that could be interesting. I might do Equilibrium just to keep the leap. Monday I work at midnight or tomorrow I work at 10 p.m. so we can play it. You want to get number one spot? Okay, man. <laughs> Thank you for more bits. All right, sounds great, man. Sounds great. Schedule's a little bit off from mine because you're working the, the graveyard shift. E. Let's do this. Uh, I should have done machine learning, actually. My bad. What's up, Camel Crash? How you doing? There we go. We got the rebound. Hyper beam. Aggregate for some stuff. Hologram for more stuff. 
Let's do rebound again and get stack back. So now we can control stack next turn and hyperbeam next turn. The best of both worlds. All for one is bringing back leap and rebound. Seek is doing stack again, right? So let's do let's do seek for stack. That's 15-15. Alright. Let's draw. Ooh, that's that's awkward. It's a little awkward. I mean, we don't take that much damage. Alright, cool. Not too bad. Where are all the expensive stuff? I'll take the hologram. Suffer more stacks. Guys, I don't know how many stacks we have. I think it's a metric buttload of stacks that we have right now. A metric buttload. Bottle Tornado for the Echo Form. Does that change the game? I feel like it does. Whoa. Uh-oh, is this guy? Is this guy? Should I try this again to see if I can beat it? So I can learn how to beat this guy? I think, I don't recommend doing this, but because this guy's new, I'm gonna try again just to see if we, just so we can learn to beat this guy. Shit, not having any source of, uh, now I gotta, now I gotta think about this guy, so I gotta save the pots, right? These pots are super important. These pots are super, I think the seek thing that I did was not good. I did some seek, shen some seek shenanigans that wasn't good. Alright, I think I used the pots too early. The steroid pot at least. So I do steroid pot when he, I, I should save steroid pot for the end because that's when he gets the strongest, right? So we gotta try to do a lot of work right now. Like we have aggregate. But we don't have card draw. If we had card draw then aggregate would be fine. It's a lot of energy, but for what? So because I have equilibrium. Because I have equilibrium, right? I could I could play a little bit differently. Like I could rebound the strike, I suppose. I can rebound as the zap. I mean, what do I want to rebound? Probably nothing. I want to draw through my deck. I'm already getting straight back. But I, I want to play zap. Okay, I'll play zap. We'll keep the defend, we'll keep the seek. Uh, I gotta keep in mind I have lightning, so I don't have to do as much damage. So we got hyper beam twice, which is doing a lot, but that's getting rid of my focus. So if we can avoid that, that would be fantastic. So maybe we want to do zap twice, right? Maybe we do a scrape here. If we do a scrape, then we can't do hyper beam. Let's play the defense. Scrape may not draw into anything. In which case, that kind of sucks. We're doing 9 damage, so he's going to be doing down to 45. This is bringing him down a decent chunk. I suppose I could seek all for one now, right? And then... I, got, I think that's a fine time to do it now. Because now we can hold on. We can hold on to the hyper beam. So he's doing nine damage. So we're doing twenty six. I'll play one more card. Perfect. I hold on to hyper beam for the next turn, so I can have the double effects plus the plus the pen nib is insane. And that's all I gotta do for this turn. And then next turn I have to use steroid pot. In fact, if I could defend here without having to use my pen nib, then that'd be fantastic. Because next turn is the, the hardest turn. But I don't think there's a way we can defend here. So we have like stack twice. Glacier twice. So Glacier twice is doing what? It's doing 16 damage. It's doing 27 damage. No, sorry. 24 damage. Plus giving me 20 block. And 25 block. 24 damage, 25 block. That's 49 mitigation. I follow that up with the defense. 
51. I won't die. And then I have Pennib. Uh, I think we just do Hyper Beam. But that, I don't think getting rid of the Pennib is really bad because next turn we're probably surely dead. Right? I guess we have Hologram next turn. Straight doesn't seem like the play, right? Straight doesn't seem like the play. Maybe it is, but I have to guarantee I have a, the hologram and strike next turn, so I think Scrape is bad. Okay. We have steroid power for next turn. And we have hologram to bring back hyper beam. We also can bring back all for one. Wait, all for one is pretty insane. So I can do all for one and hyper beam, right? Now, if I just play enough cards, so if I do all for one and I, I can get the aggregate, no, aggregate's not doing anything. Mm, I should have done something else. Maybe I should have done the equilibrium. I, I misplayed that. Maybe equilibrium and then play the stack. This is not enough. It's not enough. I'm, it's not enough to keep me alive. I actually played that wrong. I think hologram needs to be something else, man. I need to hologram, I think, double strike. Okay, high beam and strike with the steroid pot. All for one's not drawing enough because I don't have enough space. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm not drawing enough. I draw some strikes maybe. We get lucky. That's 37. I think we're dead anyways, again. I think I played that part wrong. I think I played that wrong. I mean, we live, I suppose. Ah. Double energy. What is that doing for me? Six, yeah, so maybe, but then I wouldn't be able to hold on to Hyper Beam, right? But I hold on to Pen Nib, which could be useful. Yeah, hold on to Pen would have been useful. I probably fucked up there. Recycle? I don't know. Recycle could be useful for energy proms. Capacitor's not doing much, unfortunately, because I, don't, I would do double energy. Skim is fantastic, although hologram is really good, but skim, card draw, okay, we'll do skim. We need the weaken as well. We need a waffle right here. Give me a waffle. Ah, uh, there's the consume. The consume could be good against the time meter. I can switch it up and go consume route. But now we need orb slots, which we didn't take the capacitor and we didn't take the inserter. So consume is a little bit awkward. So I think we just take stack again and we take fairy in the bottle just in case we die. That's... Not ideal, but you know what? We're we're on thin ice right now. We're gonna rest. Luckily with Snekawa, you don't have to upgrade as much just because the randomized costs. Echo form, yes. Machine learning, yes. Okay. Double glacier was probably play, yeah. I think I overthought it or I didn't think about it enough. That was a pretty bad stat uh pretty bad um That was a pretty bad, uh, scrape. I need Weaken. I should probably grab a Weaken. That's bad. Equilibrium's gonna fuck me over. Man, Equilibrium's actually really awkward, Snekawai. Well, Double Energy... Is actually not doing anything for me, unfortunately. I would love to do all for one. Uh, I guess we do this. This is really bad. This 
so awkward. Dude, I have so many cards that it's like... Equilibrium is actually really bad. Ugh, it's gross. So this is so awkward. Ugh, get out of my hand. Yeesh. Glacier. Well, now we want to bring All for One back, right? All for One is doing the what though? All for One is bringing me back some stacks and a rebound. That's pretty much it. It's probably better than nothing. Caliper would have been fantastic. That would be lethal. You know what's funny? We have Equilibrium. Guaranteed lethal next turn. Guaranteed lethal next turn with Equilibrium. Thank the Lord. That's where Equilibrium is useful. Okay, we need to heal. Vajra, Sneckle Oil. Sneckle Oil is not that great. Leap? I suppose... Good. Meteor Strike again? I'm missing on Meteor Strike? You gotta be kidding me. Region Pot. We need healing. Gold Plated Cables. Okay, this would have been a crazy deck if I went for... Orbs, I suppose. Okay, we need Hyper Beam here. I'm so happy that... I'm so happy that I got Echo Form bottled. That's amazing. Like, that's probably gonna save me. We're, we're, we're just gonna be mindful of how much cards we're playing against the time meter. Essence of Steel is much better than Sneko Eye. Yeah, Sneko Oil. Core Surge works with the Hyper Beam. That could help me get some focus still. Go for the Ice is a Weaken, and we need the Weaken, right? I think we go for the Ice. It may not be cheap, but at least it's a Weaken. Let's see what else the other card is. Cool headed scrape. Mm, I like the card draw on cool headed. I think we go for the eyes. We need to get the weekend. Just rest again. Okay, let's get a region pot so we can get an upgrade on the weekend. Oh, there it is. Let's get the two weekend. Let's try to region pot here so we can get an upgrade. That's double. Ah, uh, frick. Damn it. This is happening. Gotta go for the weekend here. I will, Vicky, I will do it. I, don't, I, I haven't yet decided if I'm gonna do it for the YouTube, but I suppose some people People seem to want to see the daily climbs on YouTube. I, I could do it. Guys, check this out for a second. I bring all for one back, right? I do sweeping beam. Never mind, I ruined it. I ruined the possibility, my bad. But I mean, that's like, that's a crazy turn. If I can get that kind of turn against a time meter, that's a lot of damage. I just gotta make sure I consistently defend with stacks and stuff. I think we have potential to do some good stuff. Oh no, it's not a legit win. It's not a legit win. Nope, it's not a legit win. For sure not. I agree with you. We have Fairy in the bottle, so if things get hairy against the... Um
If things get hairy against the time meter, then we have we have fairy in the bottle. So that's like a little lizard tail to count on. Focus pot, more card draw, I would say. Beam cell or rainbow? Rainbow could be interesting for dark, but you know what? We're not really doing that much with focus. I suppose we can change it up and try going defrag. That's too defrag. Uh, we want to upgrade something, right? We want to upgrade the weekend. Oh, we already got the weekend upgraded. I suppose hologram is the better upgrade. Alright, guys, we got focus, essence plate, echo form first turn. Let's get that out of the way. Let's do everything, actually. Okay. Taking four damage. No big deal. One damage. Never mind. Let's activate. So what we're going to do is we're going to do this. We're going to do this again. Actually, that was bad. That's fine. Whatever. I can hold on to the stack here. You got the dark going. Uh, let's hold on to the stack. I want to hold on to defrag so I can play defrag twice and get the dark scaling. We got stacks as well. We need to save room for two stacks, right? So we got beam cell. Stack, stack. And now we can hold on to the Sweeping Beam. Now it's a little awkward just because now we're not drawing new cards, but... Double Weaken. I think we want to do, like... Let's draw. That's awkward. I don't have energy for all this stuff. If I bring Aggregate, am I getting energy back? I think so. Okay. The Dark Orbs are scaling pretty well. Stack twice, easy peasy. Stack twice, easy peasy. I suppose we can wake him up now. What would be the best play thing to do right now? Weaken? Beam cell? Probably beam cell, right? No, let me see. Equilibrium? Nah. Yikes. At the end of the day, we still have fearing the bottle. I don't want to get rid of this chest yet. I mean, it's, it's a lot of damage, so maybe I could go for it. Nah, I'm trying to hold on. I'm trying to hold on here. I'm going to hold on here. For dual casts. Okay, we did it. It's a crazy deck. The transient is a son of a gun. I dislike the transient. I think we all like dislike the transient. Ah, <sighs> you know it's not time meters a transient. Okay, we're gonna figure out the transient. We're never gonna have to worry about that again. Cool run though. Cool run.